So, I keep seeing these commercials about people sending in their DNA to find out exactly where their ancestors came from. Or their parents, if they're orphans. Or just curious, I guess. And it seems rather simple. You spit it in an envelope, and you mail it into somebody who knows how to sequence a genome. Or maybe you bleed into the envelope. I, I don't know. I saw one commercial where you poop in a box and you mail that in, but that's for colon cancer, which is both funnier and more serious at the same time. So, back to the DNA Ancestry.com industry. This seems like a, a dangerous thing to do. They showed a lady who thought she was from the Iberian Peninsula and she sent in her DNA and found out that she was a Native American. Then there was another commercial where there was this moderately unattractive couple and the wife says, I married my husband because I thought he was Italian. And then they show a black and white picture of a guy with dark hair as proof that the husband had relatives who were Italian. Then the husband chimes in, so I sent my spit to DNAancestors.com to find out where in Italy my family was from. And I found out that I'm not Italian at all. I'm Eastern European. And, and they said it like the guy in the photo was a liar. And if you're Eastern European, you smell like ass. And I'm not Eastern European, but I'm pretty sure that that, that is not a homogeneous group. I don't think that the Albanians and the Serbians and the Estonians and the Hungarians and the Russians and the Slovakians and everybody else who is in Eastern Europe would consider themselves one big happy family. I'm almost 100% sure of that. Anyway, by the end of this commercial, the woman who was married to her husband because she thought he was Italian was looking at her husband like he smelled like ass. The moral of the story is it's maybe very dangerous to actually know who you are or who your ancestors are. So if you get the opportunity, my advice is don't poop in the box. And if you must poop in the box, for God's sake, don't mail it to the genome sequencing people. Okay. So here's the sad part of the story. I have this friend. Well, I hope he's my friend. He may not be after this. Anyway, I've known him my whole life, and he is very German. And to be sure, we are from a very Teutonic Scandinavian part of the country where almost everybody is German. Even his name was very German. His entire existence screamed Third Reich. Okay, that's terrible. I will edit that out later on. Or not. So, my friend, against all better judgment, poops in the box and mails it in. And a couple weeks later, he gets a letter telling him exactly what his ancestry is. And also imploring him to eat more roughage. And that's a poop joke. And my last poop joke of this video. Or not. We'll see how I feel when I edit this. Okay, so he gets a pie chart, which tells him what his DNA says is his scientifically proven ancestry. Now, keep in mind that we are all assuming he is 100% polka band, bratwurst eaten Oktoberfest with a K, German. But wait, what's this? 24% of his Germanness was British. Which would be excusable, except 18 more percent was Irish. What? And then, as if that wasn't bad enough, 20% of somebody got banged by the Welsh. And is Welsh the same as the people who make the grape jelly? Concord grapes in a Flintstone glass? 
Maybe I'm the only one who remembers that. Back to the chart. Now, while all this is happening, 15% of his great-great-grandmas were having prima nocta with Braveheart and the Freedom Freeball and Scots. But wait, there's more. 14% Northern Irish. I is there such a thing? Isn't just regular Irish enough? What, if you're Northern Irish, you pass out in a snowbank with your arm around a reindeer? Which can be very sexy. And finally, 10% chocoholic. Which, when you think about it, who isn't? I'm not asking, that was rhetorical. So, my friend can no longer watch Hogan's Heroes with the same superior disdain that he had before. Or eat sauerbraten and spetzel without a slight pain in his heart. And his upper colon. Okay, that's my last poop joke. So, as not to be outdone, I sent in my DNA sample. And it started out, as I suspected, 26% Swedish and 24% Norwegian. That was a big surprise though, because I thought we were much more Norwegian. And it is scientifically proven that we are related to the King of Norway and the Viking King, which is only a big deal if it were still the 10th century, which was one of the four greatest centuries ever. Then we find out that I am only 15% German, which really doesn't surprise me at all. Although Borchert is a very German last name. I remember one time I was walking through the kitchen and Grandma Borchert and Aunt Blanche were preparing some animal for dinner and were talking. And Grandma Borchert said, in medius res, yeah, if we would have won the war, this would all have worked out better. And I stopped for a moment and I said, but Grandma, we did win the war. And she looked at me over the top of her glasses and she said, yeah, of course, America, go play outside. Then she turned to Aunt Blanche and she said, das Kind macht mich sehr verrückt. Which I'm pretty sure is German for, he'll always be my favorite. Okay, next on the wheel of genetics, 6% Green Bay Packer fan. Now, I am pretty sure that it's much higher than that. But that 6% would encompass my entire heart and soul. Next, 10% silent but deadly, which I didn't know was a nationality. But I clearly owe a, an apology to the dog for many years of blame. 8% asshat. Okay, no surprise there. I've heard that said about me many times. I was just hoping that it wouldn't show up in one of my videos. I've been trying to keep that a secret. Finally, 11% peas in the shower. I'm pretty sure that goes along with being Norwegian. As my other grandmother would say, the drikke mikja, the kiss among ya, or the fins are that I get bought the room some fins, which I'm pretty sure means you will always be my favorite. Little dog.